I'm Tom Edwards of Passed Over. Please leave your expectations at the door. For the people that you might have come tonight to speak with might not be the ones that we actually come in contact with. Okay, I'm going to look on to the gallery and start getting some kind of feeling. Um, someone, someone's living in a house. Um, all of us are living in a house. Uh, someone's living in a house. It's Agatha's, Agatha's house. Is there a... Does that sound familiar to anybody? Um, I'm looking for uh, Christy. Christy? Uh, I think it's a Christy. You live in a house. It's a it's a number number 20. It's 24. That's my great-grandmother's house. Okay. Could you please come? Are you Christy? Yes. They want to talk to Christy. Okay. Let's get you down on that gallery. Come, come on down tonight. I, I feel a lot of, a lot of strong things are coming. Good evening. Welcome to Past Over. I'm Tom Edwards. Tonight we're talking to Christy. She has a, a relative from her past that wants to convey a message to her. We've chosen her out of the gallery. Um, it'd be uh, her grandmother, I'm sensing. Is that correct? My great-grandmother. Your great-grandmother. Now, now I'm, I, I have this strong feeling about this house. This house, a lot of... Uh, it's telling me. So, okay. There's a lot of family that lives in that house. Uh, well, no. It's like a generation. She, says, uh, she passed it down to her daughter and then to her daughter, and then that they, you are living in there with your family now. That's right. That's correct. You have two daughters? Yes. She's telling me you have two daughters. Um, now, in the house, the house was left the way it was, um, furnished and, and everything. Is that correct? Right. She left many of her things there. Uh, she's pointing. She's pointing in a room. Um, Okay, there's like the sun comes through a window and there's a picture. I see a picture on the wall, uh, an oil painting. And that's in the, when you first walk in the house in the, in the hallway. No, okay. It was a picture of her grandmother. Right, and she's telling me that you know already, that you've already been there, that you, you found that you could take the picture off. You, could, you picked up the picture, and you were with your husband. You and your husband, you found it, and you opened up. Okay, there was a safe, and inside the safe you found a... Yeah, she left a substantial amount of money in the safe. Okay, and you've, you've had enough. You've saved and, and still have that. Um, she told me she worked really hard. That's why I'm, I'm getting this feeling. I, I can see her. She did something with her hands. and. Uh, she, she worked in the mills. Uh, and I was on her feet a lot. Right. And and a lot, a lot. It was her hands in her. I guess she had arthritis in her fingers and a lot of pain in her joints. She wanted you to be careful. She said, you work with your hands also? Yes. Okay. She, she was concerned that you'd have this aching in her hands. She said she worked a lot and did spend enough time with her family. You know, she, she worked very hard and saved all her money and passed on and left a substantial amount of money in, her, in the safe there. Okay, um, now, now with this, uh, I'm getting this, she's telling me, okay, this is what her message, what she wanted, this is why she, she brought you out. She wanted me to give you this message. She, she said she doesn't want you to work so hard and to appreciate your family more and not to be so concerned with money. That, that's how she spent her whole life was with money. And that it meant nothing to her at the end because she'd missed all the opportunities with her family of spending time with it. And that if you have any extra money, let me get this clear. If you have any extra money, she would like you to give it to me. That 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 is what her message was today. Wait, wait. In fact, do you have any extra money on you now? Yeah, great grandmother. I used to me. Yes, great. To give you yes. all the money that I have. Yes, not all of it. You give yourself enough, you know, an allowance. But whenever there's extra money, mm. she give it to me. Well, Tom, if that's what Aggie says to do. She's, she's insisting on it. That would really, it should be much more at ease. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. Okay. okay. That's a crossover uh, to her. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad, and, and that because she's passed and, and everything, and, and that she, she feels more fulfilled, there'll be more of a peace in the whole house now. Your, your atmosphere in the house is now going to, to get a lot better. And mine is also. Um, now, I just want to thank everyone for uh, coming. That's all the time that we have for tonight. And I want everyone to remember to please, uh, I want you to communicate, appreciate, and validate with your loved ones, with all your relationships that you have, with those who are here now before they have passed on. I came here tonight to the show 
just because I was curious and I never thought that anyone would um, reach out for me. Um, very grateful that um, great grandmother Aggie did reach out for me. Uh, and I have an inner peace now with myself, knowing that um, any extra money that I make, that I should give over to Tom Edwards, and it's a great show. Tonight, Christy felt so much off of her shoulders. She didn't know that there was this, this burden that she was carrying, this, this family legacy of always working too, too hard, just very, very hard all the time, damaging her body and how she feels physically and as well spiritually. Now that burden has been lifted off of her, and no more will she feel like that again. And I'm really glad that I could help her.